We're back with you once again, wrestling fans, for our second bout. It's going to be the Battle of the Legends. As you see, the wild man, Don Fargo, one of the most dangerous men ever to step inside the squared circle in professional wrestling, making his way around ringside. And Steve, I know you've, uh, you've been close to Don Fargo for many years in the fabulous Fargos. That's exactly right. Wild man Don Fargo, the man responsible for breaking in Greg the Hammer Valentine, Rowdy Roddy Piper, some of the most marketable and reputable names in professional wrestling today. Wild man Don Fargo, Jackie Fargo, the fabulous Fargos, a tradition lives on tonight here in Bainbridge, Georgia. And that's right here in Globe Star Wrestling. It's all about tradition as the master of the sleeper hold, Ken Lucas, gets ready to make his way to ringside. The fans really love this man all over the South. He's a legend. The master of the sleeper had a lot of great bouts recently with Bullet Bob Armstrong and came out on top to prove that he is indeed the master of the sleeper hole. Right there you are, Dothan, Alabama, the Continental Reunion, Bullet Bob Armstrong against Ken Lucas, sleeper versus sleeper. Good night, Irene, for Bullet Bob. Ken Lucas victorious on that one. Mesa, Arizona against Hell's Kitchen, New York. Now, those two states are far, far apart. Legendary Don Fargo, legendary Ken Lucas tonight. One of a, just one of the great matches here in Bainbridge, Georgia. Well, you look at this, the lack of class of Don Fargo spitting out his chaw and putting it back in his pocket. Saving that one for later, I think. Uh, you know, I can't say much about his manners, but inside the ring, he's one of the toughest men ever to step inside the ring as these two legends square off here. Fargo looks a little apprehensive. Fargo with a 350 plus bench press still can do 350 plus. Now, I was in the gym with him about two or three months ago. He's looking good for this event. Still very much active in professional wrestling. Not only wrestling, but coordinating, promoting, matchmaking on some other events coming up uh, in the near future, as well as Ken Lucas. Great shape, uh, man. It's just good to see these two in the ring tonight. Bainbridge, Georgia, what a card of professional wrestling. Ken Lucas has such great hand speed. You know, he's got that boxing background a little bit. He can really throw those rights and lefts. They locked up there a little bit of separation being caused by the official as both men go into the ropes. Collar and elbow tie up once again. It's Fargo in control with the standing side headlock. That's what cauliflower ears are made of right there. You got that right, Fargo with that standing side headlock, Lucas, forearm to the back. Now Fargo, man, wild and crazy as he is, he still knows the basics of professional wrestling. Look at Roddy Roddy Piper, look at Greg Valentine, like I said earlier. These men know the, the basics and the, uh, you know, the mat wrestling ability, but uh, Fargo in the upper hand right there. Fargo, rather, I'm sorry, uh, you know, is a mat wrestler, a brawler. You're talking about extreme wrestling. We've got some extreme stars here tonight, but Fargo created extreme, brother. That's right, Don Fargo the Wild Man. And you mentioned the Highlander Dwayne McLeod earlier on in our first bout, and also the Lightning Kid Jerry Reiner. They trained for quite some time with Don Fargo. Uh, it's a little known fact, but a lot of people say that's really where their careers turned around and where they really started to shine was after the, the training, the long, grueling training sessions with Don Fargo. And now it's Ken Lucas with a side headlock of his own on the wild man. Fargo backs his man into the ropes, forearm smash right to the midsection. And you know, these men are, they're getting up there in age. They can't take the bumps and the bruises like they used to be able to. So I can't imagine this match is gonna go very long as it's Don Fargo with that front face lock. Wild man Don Fargo, 70 plus. Phil, I don't wanna get his age, but uh, he don't look a bit over the age of 40. Man, he's in great shape, goes to the gym every day, wrestles just about uh, every weekend, and uh, you, the story speaks for itself right there. I mean, Don Fargo, a legend of the Gulf Coast. Fargo there sticking his head between that top and middle rope, causing some separation there. Uh, veteran referee Cecil Roden Sea Dog there keeping order in this matchup. And once again, the side headlock. Ken Lucas tries to shoot his man off, but it looked like Fargo got a handful of Lucas's hair there, stopping the momentum entirely, grinding away with that vice-like side headlock. And I can tell you from experience, Don Fargo is one strong man. 
Both of these men have kept themselves in great active physical condition. Top wrist lock reversal now by Ken Lucas, but back into the side headlock with a pull of the hair there. Behind the back of the official, it's the wild man, Don Fargo. There's where, you know, like I said earlier, experience pays off. These men are two, uh, if you combine the experience of professional wrestling, it'd be over a hundred years. I'll tell you what, this match, like no, like no other you've seen in the past, uh, coordinator of uh, Globe Star Wrestling, also of the WFW, Bobby Wilson, uh, matchmaker, put uh, some of the greatest wrestling cards together along with Larry Strickland of Globe Star and uh, came up. We've got Boogie Woogie Man, Jimmy Valiant, another legend, man. It, it could be POW tonight. Pioneers of wrestling. Just think about that. That's right, and uh, it looks like taking the advantage now, Ken Lucas. Every time Fargo seems to be on top, Lucas manages to get his way out of the predicament with those hard right hands, that quick hand speed. Greco Roman knuckle lock now, but look at Lucas winds his man in the wrist lock. But it's Fargo with the strength and power advantage, backs his man to the ropes once again. Phil, I learned a greater respect for the business as a, as a youngster. You know, years ago, when you learn at a young age, you learn to appreciate not only the wrestling part, but the business as well. I was uh, I was taught business and wrestling. You know how to do the the, the interviews and uh, you know what to say and what not to say by the legendary Don Fargo, by Flash Monroe, and by some of the greats that are already gone now. And uh, you know, I cherish the moment uh, to, to be uh, to be a part of this event with with Fargo and Lucas. What a what a match, man! Don Fargo there using that belt buckle on that weightlifting belt. He's brought into the squared circle with him, allowing a little bit of leniency there. C Dog Cecil Roden allowing Fargo to bring that belt into the ring, and he used it as a weapon right there. Fargo now backs his man into the corner buckle. Rears back with a hard right hand, but the referee there caught an elbow. Oh, Phil, look out, man. Fargo's going to take that belt off. You know what time it oh, is now. Oh, jeez. The impact slapping across the flesh there with that leather belt. Don Fargo now. No regard for the rules and regulations of pro wrestling, but look at Lucas fight back. Hard right hands right to the forehead. He's got the belt. Retaliation right across the back. You could see the sweat fly. Leather across flesh right to the stomach. And Ken Lucas now retaliating. Backs his man into the ropes. Irish whip to the opposite side. This is it, the sleeper. It's all over. This is the same movie took Bullet Bob Armstrong out in Dolphin at the Houston County Farm Center. This could be it, Phil. 70 plus years old, that blood doesn't flow like it used to already, and he's cutting off that carotid artery. The flow of oxygen to the brain will cease. There's one. He's got it locked in, man. Really rich in that sleeper hole. Roden checks the arm three times, it drops, and it's over. The winner of the Legends match is going to be the living legend, Ken Lucas, the master of the sleeper hole. No doubt about it. Stay tuned, wrestling fans. Up next, that cruiserweight bout. The Lightning Kid Jerry Reiner takes on prime time. What a match.